my name is Bikash Patnaik. I am the clinical director uh, for uh, visual electrophysiology at uh, UW Health Clinic. I'm also a faculty in the pediatrics department and uh, ophthalmology department here at UW Madison uh, School of Medicine. The question comes is why our uh, recent paper on best disease is important. So after about uh, it was known that uh, bestrophin, uh, which is a calcium activated chloride channel when mutated cause uh, um, best vitelliform macular degeneration. So in 2003, um, uh, we were the first ones to uh, knock out bestrophin in the mice. But the finding was that in mice, at least the bestrophin is not functioning as a chloride uh, channel in the RPE cells. So that dampened our idea. But then through when, after I moved to Wisconsin through collaborations with uh, David Gam lab and then subsequently with uh, Chris Saha, we showed that in patient uh, IPSC RPE uh, for best uh, gene therapy could restore the chloride channel function in these cells. So not only we saw that the uh, it is actually a chloride channel in the RP cells, but it can be its function can be rescued by gene therapy. So it's important to realize that ion channels are complex proteins on the membrane which help cellular communication. And there has been very limited, to my knowledge, there has been very limited effort to uh, rescue ion channel function by gene therapy. Um, and based on our um, best disease model, and also uh, we have uh, rescued a potassium channel in the liver's congenital amaurosis uh, patient IPSC RPE through gen therapy. We, this is timely and we hope that this specific uh, potassium channel gene therapy will be clinic in 2021 through Hubble Therapeutics and its global outreach. Now the landscape of gene therapy for um, ion channels is now open and we hope that uh, gene therapy's application will be beyond blindness to other uh, diseases uh, soon. Hello, my name is uh, David Gam. I'm a professor of ophthalmology and visual sciences here at UW-Madison and I also am the director of the uh, McPherson Eye Research Institute also here at UW-Madison. Uh, I've been on faculty here since the early 2000s. I did my residency and I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist as well. And my laboratory is uh, interested in uh, understanding and developing uh, therapies for childhood causes of blindness as well as adult onset causes such as macular degeneration um, and uh, retinitis pigmentosa. And the way we go about doing that is by studying uh, human pluripotent stem cells. Uh, so stem cells derived from adults uh, via blood samples or skin samples. Um, and then we developed uh, a, a technique for uh, turning the stem cells derived from those primary cells to uh, retina. So we're able to generate uh, retinal tissues uh, from essentially any individual walking the face of the earth. We tend to do so from folks who have uh, particular types of diseases that lead to, to blindness. Um, we also have uh, pioneered uh, methods to uh, use those uh, cells in many different applications, such as testing for gene therapies, as well as developing cell therapies to hopefully one day replace cell types that have been lost during the course of degenerative diseases, like macular degeneration and retinitis pigmentosa, among many others. Um, and so what we do in particular is uh, focus on photoreceptors and retinal pigment epithelium. And those two cell types really are the pinnacle of your of vision. They're what work together to respond to light, which ultimately res uh, results in a signal being sent back to your brain so that you can have a visual percept. So what we've been doing a lot lately is collaborating with folks through UW-Madison. Uh, to uh, develop model systems uh, with which we can uh, test different uh, novel therapies. And so 
recently we uh, published a paper with a collaborative group that included Bakash Peknayak and Chris Saha and Shushmita Roy, uh, which showed that uh, two di different approaches for gene therapy would be effective in a relatively rare type of macular degeneration called best vitelliform macular dystrophy. And using these two different approaches, we feel like we may have the opportunity to um, improve the vision of nearly everybody that has this, this type of, of uh, blinding disorder. Um, and we're also trying to do this now for multiple other types of genetic disorders that lead to blindness, again, either in childhood or, or later in life. Uh, with regard to adult onset, uh, degenerative diseases like macular degeneration. We have been working for a, a long time to develop um, different approaches for replacing the cell types, the photoreceptors in the retinal pigment epithelium, uh, once they have degenerated uh, and led to uh, what is now permanent blindness, but we hope uh, someday to be able to uh, have a therapy that will help those individuals too. And so we have a number of, uh, of grants and collabor collaborations uh, here at UW-Madison uh, to try to advance those therapies as well. Um, so I hope that gives you an overview of what we do in the laboratory here, um, and uh, thank you for this opportunity to update you on what we're doing. Thank you.